Hello, this is the fifth episode of Analytics Spy Series. My name is Wahab Sayed, and I am a solutions architect here at AWS Startups team. Before we get started, I want to go over our agenda for this video. To start with, I will briefly recap the content of the previous video, and following that, we will go over the ever-changing landscape of data warehouse and challenges that customers face today. I will also share case studies of some customers and how they are solving their analytics needs by using Amazon Redshift. Finally, I'll explain reference architectures to address different business use cases. In this series, we introduce the concept of modern data architectures and how startup customers can leverage the modern data architecture to think big, start small, and scale fast on their data journey. Modern data architecture enables startup customers to think big by laying down a comprehensive and ambitious vision, fitting various analytics needs. It allows you to start small with one or more high priority workload and start driving the business value. And finally, it's easy to add new data sources, scale up the workloads and support new analytics needs. In the previous video, we talked about transactional data lakes and how frameworks like Apache Hudi can bring asset properties to structured and unstructured data lakes. So in this video, I'll talk about how Data Warehouse can help in ever-changing data landscape and how Amazon Redshift play a vital role as a highly optimized data warehouse delivering the best price performance at any scale. Also, I will cover how Amazon Redshift integrates well with other AWS services in a modern data architecture. Before we dive into Amazon Redshift, let's take a look at Data Warehouse. A data warehouse is a central repository of information that can be analyzed to make more informed decisions. Data flows into a data warehouse from transactional systems, relational databases, and other sources, typically on a regular cadence. Business analysts, data engineers, data scientists, and decision makers access the data through BI tools and other analytics applications. So now that we understand what Data Warehouse is, let's take a look at common challenges that startup customers face today when it comes to Data Warehouse. We are hearing from our customers that data requirements are now coming in from all corners of the organization. Think of sales, marketing, operations, where business decision makers today heavily rely on data to make key decisions, especially true in fast growing companies. But people, in these teams like sales and marketing not necessarily have the skills to operate and manage data warehouse. Eventually, all of these requests go to central IT or engineering teams, and they don't want to be the bottleneck either. They want to enable these users with powerful systems, which are easy to use so that they can deliver on critical business outcomes. Another pain point we hear is as data grow, it becomes both an opportunity and a challenge. Today, Data is more diverse than ever before, often stored in different data stores across organization. And if you don't have an efficient way to connect, share, and use this data, it can quickly lose its value. And last but not the least, many startup customers are cost sensitive. They desire consistent high performance while maintaining a balanced cost. And that's why Amazon Redshift the most widely used and affordable cloud data warehouse has been investing and innovating along all these areas to meet these customer challenges and address their modern needs. It helps you analyze all your data from transactional data to log files to click stream data. It is the most affordable cloud data warehouse that delivers up to three times better price performance relative to competition and it requires zero administration and reliably delivers insights from your data in seconds. Now let's take a look at how Amazon Redshift has evolved its architecture to better serve your needs. We launched Amazon Redshift as the very first cloud data warehouse. Amazon Redshift is a highly optimized columnar database where data is organized around columns instead of rows. This allows for a very high level of data compression on columns and allows you to pull in only the columns relevant relevant to the query, resulting in a huge performance boost over traditional relational databases. We introduced Spectrum to extend the analytics power of Redshift beyond your data warehouse and query vast amounts of unstructured data in your Amazon S3 data lake without having to load or transform the data into Redshift. Redshift Spectrum runs your queries across thousands of parallelized 
parallelized nodes to deliver fast results regardless of the complexity of query or the size of the data. We added concurrency scaling that automatically adds and removes capacity to handle unpredictable demand from thousands of concurrent users. We introduced RefSwift Manage Storage that enables scaling of storage and compute separately and to let the customers pay only for the storage that they use or the compute they use. RA3 Managed Storage uses high-performance SSD and Amazon S3 to store your data and moves your data between Amazon S3 and SSD cache based on your access pattern to give you the best price performance. We continued with Aqua Advanced Query Accelerator that takes performance to the next level, accelerating query speeds up to 10 times. Aqua runs data-intensive tasks such as scan, filtering, and aggregation closer to the storage layer by using AWS Design custom processors. Today, Aqua is included in R3 instance types at no additional cost. We added compilation as a service to concurrently compile query segments for faster performance and also added Redshift Federated Query to Aurora and RDS to help you analyze data from your operational databases. We have recently added Amazon Redshift data sharing feature that allows you to share data across different Redshift clusters without the complexity and delays associated with data copies and data movement. Data sharing provides live access to data so your users always see the most current and consistent information as it's updated in the data warehouse. And last but not the least, we added the support for machine learning to help you create, train, and deploy machine learning models directly from your Redshift cluster using simple SQL commands. Amazon Redshift is a petabyte scale, cloud-native, and highly performing data warehouse that pushes the boundaries of data warehousing. Amazon Redshift deep integration with other AWS services has allowed our customers to use Redshift as their primary data store but combine the data from other data stores without leaving your data warehouse, reducing the need to build additional ETL pipelines that may take days or even weeks. Amazon Redshift gives you the flexibility to store highly structured, frequently accessed data in Redshift while keeping exabytes of structured and unstructured data in S3, and query seamlessly across both to provide unique insights that you would not be able to obtain by queuing independent datasets. Of course, with the benefit of being part of the AWS Analytics ecosystem, Amazon Redshift is natively integrated with other services. For example, you can use AWS Glue to extract, transform, and load data into Redshift. You can also use Amazon Kinesis Data Firehouse to easily capture, transform, and load streaming data into Redshift for near real-time analytics. You can use Amazon QuickSight to create reports, visualizations, and dashboards. And there is more. With all this data available within Amazon Redshift, now it's easier than ever before to create and train machine learning models by simple, simply using SQL commands and without having to learn new tools and languages. Amazon Redshift ML uses Amazon SageMaker Autopilot to build supervised machine learning models automatically and then uses Amazon SageMaker New to optimize the model for deploying into your Amazon Redshift clusters and allows you to make predictions using SQL functions. Now with Amazon Redshift Serverless as GA, AWS takes care of all the heavy lifting of provisioning and managing the data warehouse infrastructure. This allows customers to getting started quickly and focus on obtain, obtaining the insights from their data. Amazon Redshift Serverless automatically scales up and down to deliver consistently fast performance for even the most demanding and unpredictable workload. This allows more customers to build a modern data strategy, especially for use cases where analytics workloads are not running 24-7 and the data warehouse is not active all the time. Now let's take a look at some of the case studies to see how Amazon Redshift is helping our customers. Healthwana data team relies on Amazon Redshift to analyze structured and semi-structured data across data warehouses, operational databases, and data lakes. Healthwana chose AWS for scalability as well as access to cost-effective development environment. 
Health One had delivered 50 million health records to patients on behalf of healthcare providers, including counties and city agencies. Nextdoor, which is a private social network for neighborhoods, uses several AWS services to support its data analytics efforts. This customer uses Amazon S3 buckets to securely store a variety of data, including log files, stream data, and user uploaded artifacts such as photos and documents shared with neighbors. Altogether, the customer's Amazon S3 bucket contains about 30 terabytes of data. To analyze this data, Nextdoor uses Amazon Redshift to run workload of queries. These queries provide detailed analysis of application performance and insights into how customers are using their platform. Now let's take a look at some of the reference architecture and how Amazon Redshift is used today. One of the most common pattern that startup customers use today is building using microservices architecture. While there is benefit in using purpose-built databases for each microservice data store, it is important to understand that this leads to data silos. So in order to analyze the data from multiple sources and applications, it is important to bring that data into a central repository where that data can then be analyzed. Amazon Redshift is a petabyte scale cloud-native data warehouse designed to support ingestion of large amount of structured data. Amazon Redshift integrates with database migration services uh, that allows you to sync tables from RDS or on-premise database to Amazon Redshift tables. Amazon Redshift has a built-in support to import data from Amazon DynamoDB using a copy command. Once the data is available in Amazon Redshift, you can integrate it with Amazon QuickSight as well as other third-party tools like Tableau to visualize and interact with data. Now, this is a great example for structured data, but oftentimes customer data contains unstructured and semi-structured data. For example, JSON, CSV, or Parquet files. So it is important to understand how Amazon Redshift can still be used to query those type of data sets. In this reference architecture, we look at how Amazon Redshift integrates with data lakes where you could have structured, semi-structured, or unstructured data from a variety of different sources. You can use AWS Glue to transform and combine those data for further analysis and reporting. Amazon Redshift Spectrum allows you to define the structure of your files and data within those files using tables in an external data catalog. You can do that by using simple SQL DDL commands. The data catalog can either be AWS Glue data catalog or your own Apache Hive Meta store. You can also partition the external tables on one or more columns. This allows you to improve the performance by eliminating the partition that don't contain the data for the query. After your rest of spectrum tables have been defined, you can query and join the tables just as you do to any other Amazon Redshift table. You can also add Redshift Spectrum tables to multiple Amazon Redshift clusters and query the same data on Amazon S3 from any other cluster in the same region. You can also combine your semi-structured data with structured data in your operational databases using federated queries. Now, one of the important use cases for the data is to use it to make predictions, which machine learning community calls inferencing. Now this architecture builds upon previous architecture, but here we use data that is available to Amazon Redshift to train machine learning models and make predictions. As previously mentioned, Amazon Redshift ML uses Amazon SageMaker Autopilot to build supervised machine learning models automatically. But if you desire more control, you have the ability to specify other machine learning models, for example, XGBoost, MLP, etc. And also it allows you to configure preprocessor and hyperparameters as well. And when the model is trained, Rested ML uses Amazon SageMaker New to, prior, to optimize the model for deploying into your Amazon Redshift cluster and makes it available as a SQL function. There is also support to bring existing SageMaker models into your Amazon Redshift cluster and use them as a SQL function in your queries, reports, or dashboards. And this concludes this episode on Data Warehouse. Now I will briefly touch upon what we will discuss in the next video. In the next video, we will take a we will talk about how to prepare your data for machine learning using Amazon SageMaker. We will cover some use cases and follow up with some reference architectures. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Analytics Byte. 
For more information, please check out the links in the description and we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.